This video demonstrates the extraction of a maxillary right bicuspid and its replacement with an immediately placed and loaded 4 mm by 8 mm Integra CP implant and its subsequent restoration with an integrated abutment crown, IAC, in three clinical visits within 90 days. Treatment begins with inserting a periotome between the root of the tooth and its bony socket while applying apical pressure with a rocking action. After separating the crown of the tooth from its roots with a forceps, the roots are hemisected through their bifurcation with a fissure carbide burr, and the buccal and palatal roots are removed separately. Any granulation tissue or remnants of the periodontal ligament are removed with a spoon curette prior to initiating the osteotomy with a two millimeter pilot drill rotating at 1100 RPM with intermittent water irrigation. The osteotomy is successively widened in half millimeter increments with latch reamers rotating without irrigation at 50 RPM. The status of the buccal bone is continuously monitored by tactile finger pressure during the drilling. After widening the osteotomy to a four millimeter diameter, a curette is used to remove any bony fragments. A final width of four and a half millimeters is achieved prior to transporting and inserting the four and a half millimeter by eight millimeter Integra CP implant into its osteotomy with its black healing plug. Prior to the removal of the black healing plug, harvested bone is placed over the buccal shoulder of the implant. A bonding agent is placed and cured on the interproximal surfaces of the adjacent teeth prior to the insertion of a 5 mm by 4 mm zero degree shoulder abutment in its corresponding acrylic sleeve for the fabrication of a light cured polyceramic bonded temporary crown. Twelve weeks later, during the second clinical visit, the bonded transitional crown is removed. The titanium 5 mm by 4 mm zero degree shoulder abutment is replaced with a green impression post in its corresponding acrylic sleeve for the making of a full arch implant level transfer impression. During the third clinical visit, the transitional crown with its abutment is removed and replaced with a permanent integrated abutment crown. Definitive seating of the IAC is achieved by having the patient apply occlusal pressure by closing on a cotton roll. After confirmation of the appropriateness of the IAC's aesthetics and interproximal occlusal contacts, a post-insertion radiograph is taken. Hopefully, this video will enhance your understanding and appreciation of the Bicon implant with its 360 degrees of universal abutment positioning which provides for the meaningful clinical benefits of the integrated abutment crown. Thank you for having watched.